Hey guys, it's Willie Sam with Coins back with another video today. And today we are going to take a look at my uh, main coin books I'm working on right now. So we're going to kick it off with starting off with my Indian Head Scent book. And this book I've been working on, I'd say, it's one of my longer books I've been working on. Um, I think I just started it shortly after my um, Lincoln book, which I'll show you, be showing you. But this book, um, I have all the Flying Eagles. And they're all in XF condition, XF VF 35, high VF. Um, we got this really nice 1863. Um, and we have a good amount of the coins in this side, not many of them. You guys can see right there what I have and what I don't have. So this side I'm working on right now, this side is almost completely full, except for that 1886. And this side I've been working a lot on upgrading right recently. You can see a, a full liberty in that one, a full liberty in that one, a full liberty in that one, that one, that one is beautiful, I think. Oh, what other ones do I have full liberty? I have full liberty on the 1901, which that's a really pretty Indian, if you guys can see that, if it's going to focus for me. And then look at this one right here. Look at that, I paid a dollar and fifty cents for that. The guy sold it to me. Um, and then I have this which has a full liberty on it too. So this book is going along really nice. Um the 09 and 08 S, I'm actually this 1877. I found a guy who has one. It's not in the world's best condition, but he's willing to trade for it. And so I'm just gonna take a big pile of coins of coins I don't want. And if I can work out a trade that is in my favor pretty well and I can get it pretty cheap. I think the pr um, price tag is 150 on it. It is graded. I want to say it's like good a good four. It's not a bad coin at all. I think he is like asking 150 for. I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of stuff to trade. Uh, but no. So hopefully I can get that 1877 in here soon. Um, tell me what you guys think about that. I think that would be that's gonna probably be the king of my collection. Um, next let's look at the Buffalo Nickels. I'll save the best for last. Um, Buffalo Nickels. We got the 19. We got all the. Um, 1913 planes. This is one that's uncirculated. We'll look at the backs in a minute. 1915's in great condition. You guys can see all of these. These this book is the one I've been working really hard on recently, and put in um filling holes in it. And I only have maybe nine more to go. I want to say till I finish the book, which is looking, which is actually really nice. Let's turn this around. So you can look at all these buffaloes. A nice horn right here, especially right there. That's a nice horn. That has a nice horn. Um, up here, these are the, some. You can see the nice, the quality of horns that these buffaloes have. I try to have the best, of, best stuff in my books. But no. So let's see. What else do we have? We have this 1928, which is probably one of the better ones. This 1936 is the best one in my book. It's practically brilliant uncirculated. It is brilliant uncirculated. Um, but now we got the 26s, which is out of all the Buffalo nickels, the lowest mintage. It's not the most expensive one, but it is the lowest mintage of all of them. Um, like if we look right here, we can look. 1926s, 970,000. The next lowest mintage is like 1 million, something. 1.1 million, maybe. I'm not sure, but no, but yeah, these coins. I have one more to fill this page. I believe that is the 1935 back. Look how pretty that is. That the details are on, and then these are just Jeffersons. I'm filling as I come by them and change. These are nothing. I'm like working really hard on these. Are just if I see them in my change, I throw them in the book. So, yep, that's my Buffalo book. Tell me what you guys, what your favorite coin of that one is. Um, we got Lincoln cents. I should save these for last because they probably are the best, but. 1911, um, that's XF, that's probably about, yeah, that's an AU XF, probably. Thing with these, they never always put patina on them, so a lot of them you could see, when well, it's like MS-63, but it looks like this. There's no shine on it. That's how they were making some of the coins back then, but no, we've got all these really nice Lincolns. Let's see what we're getting to. This page is probably my most expensive page. We've got the 1931S in XF condition. That was a Christmas present for my grandpa this year for Christmas. 
Um, that one filled a big hole in my book. The 09S and the 14D I should be getting soon. Um, I just need to come by someone who has them for the price I, what for what they're worth. Most people I've seen have overpriced them recently. And look at this penny right here. Tell me what you think about this 1940. Look how pretty that toning is on it. I paid like $5 for it, I want to say. But for that toning, it was worth it. It's like a nice patina to amber or something like that. Tell me what you guys think about that. Because I really like that one. Uh, we've got, I've been put, right now I've been working on putting a lot of uncirculated ones in here that are really cheap. Um, I just went to a coin show and I bought like all the uncirculated ones that the guy had. And I've been just throwing them all in the book casually as I get them. Here's a nicer, um, here's a really nice one up here, the 4090. Um, but no, but yeah, I've been picking up these as I can find them and they were, they look really nice. This book, this book is a book I'm really proud of. And this is actually my first coin book that I started. And I started it about five years ago. So, in five years, it's gotten far. And now for my last book, we've got the Peace Dollars. These Peace Dollars are kind of... It's probably my most expensive book. I had the 1921. There was like XF condition. I sold it because... There was like a big reason why. Because there was a chance... A guy at a coin show said that he recommends that I sell it because the price of them spiked and then went back down immediately right after I sold it. But he said there was a chance that that could have been... He said it didn't look fake, but he said that this, it was an odd strike on the coin. He said most people aren't going to want that odd strike in their final book. So he said you're better off selling it now than going back eventually later and buying one that looks really nice. So that's why I don't have that coin in there. But I do have all the other coins, and they all look beautiful. This 1925, I have to say, the 25 plane, probably my favorite one. It's the best conditioned. It has a beautiful eagle on the back. Look at that. That's probably at least MS-64, if not higher. Um, 2060 is in great condition. This 27S has been cleaned. Even It is a harder date in the book to get. But I'm debating whether to sell it and pick up a new one. I'll sell it if um, the chance comes by to like trade it for something that I really do need. Um, but I didn't pay too much for it. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. It's not terrible, but it's also not the best. But um, we got, We've got the 28S. AU. This one might be one of the most valuable coins in my collection. Let me look at my price guide right here. Hang on, guys. It's either, I think that's 28S might actually be the king of my collection. Let's look. PCGS apps. Use the PCGS apps, guys. If you are going to look for certified coins, um, it is all, it is a, hang on, I'll just read that later, but, you know, it's like you go to dollars, you go to peace dollars. Let's see if this thing will focus for the life of A little relief type two. This is what I use whenever I go to coin shows to when I'm looking at a coin I really I would like to own. So you have 28S. So it's about a $70 coin. That's not my best coin in my collection, but it's still a very nice coin to have. I think my best coin might be um I have a 78S, um 1878 S Morgan dollar. That is um that is a MS-63 condition. That is probably my best coin, I'd have to say. It's a really pretty coin. And then, since I still have time in this video, let's do a video on West Point. Because the West Point Mint has been active lately. So, West Point Mint, back in 1996. Most coin collectors don't know this. They made this. A 1996 W. Yes, W. West Point Dime. To commemorate the 50th anniversary of... Teddy Roosevelt, I mean, bleh, Teddy Roosevelt, screw me. Franklin Roosevelt being put on the dime. So they made this here, you guys can see the little W mint mark, it's really cute. Um, it mint West Point. Um, these are about, these run about $25, I want to say right now. I got mine back when they were dirt cheap when you could buy them for like five bucks. So that's a really nice coin. And next we've got, they've been putting out all the pennies. So this is the Denver Uncirculated Mint Set. Um, does it say it anywhere on the box? No, but. I bought this at the Denver Mint. I've never opened it, so I don't know what it looks like. 
But no, we've got the West Point penny. This is the uncirculated penny. And here we've got the proof penny. The proof West Point penny. And here we've got the reverse proof. And then we also have this, which is a all 2018 West Point Ultra Cameo. Silver Eagle. This is another Christmas gift for my grandpa along with that 31S. Um, normally for like Christmas, what my grandpa does, he gives me a few coins. Um, and it used to just be like a few coins and a proof set. This year he put a silver dollar in there. Um, but no, this coin is beautiful. I love how this looks. And actually, maybe I'll do a video on them next time I see him. But he just got the 2019S. Um... 2019s proof san francisco silver eagles which sold out the day they came out he bought two of them luckily but no so i will see you guys in the next video like subscribe spread the word about the channel let's get the subscriber count up um we're about like what almost a little over six months into the channel um and so it's still a young channel but let's try to get that subscriber count up i would really like to you shout me out on your channel i'll shout you out um so yeah I will see you all later.